Hello guys, so welcome to the home and in today's tutorial we show you guys how to model cobbles in Archicad. Okay, I say that again how to model cobbles in Archicad. Alright, for some of you wondering, um cobbles is actually those designs you see attached to the wall and also to the concrete fissure at the same time. Like those little white design you can see coming out on this stage like this. Okay, so don't worry, you see as we proceed with the design. Okay, so let's proceed without wasting much of your time. So now let's click on option. So under option, you click on complex profile. Then under complex profile, you click on profile manager. All right. So from profile manager, you click on this little um, plus sign you are seeing. Click on it. This will permit us to click a new one. All right. A new one. So type in the name. Let's say, um, let's just say, type one type one okay let's say type one let's use capital later so that to come out well um sorry type one yeah let's say type one now click ok it will give us um a space to design that particular design we have in mind and um let's say we just want it a little not too big so click on document so under document select your line and then let's say the downside wants it to be to be 200 so this side will be 200 and then the upside let's say the upside to 200 is 200 not too big 200 no let's just say 150 150 at the upside okay so this down part now let's go with um let's say 100 will be fine the 100 is too big 100 is too big let's say 50 <clears throat> sorry let's just say 50 50 and here this one let's say 52 50 oh, this line is not straight all right 50 then take this one up mind you i'm just creating this particular ones now to get the ship all right but it depends on what you want to have okay let's say you want a uh, you want some you know circular shape then you can just go ahead and design that which you have in mind okay let's say we want this one to be like this from here to here and then this one to come out as as a curve okay and then we want this middle part to have um let's say we want this middle part to have something like this okay so it actually all depends on what you have in mind okay depends on what you have in mind i'm just doing something kind of crazy actually <laughs> so from here let's bring this one outside a little okay then this one so first of all design that which you have in mind and um, it will be bad if we add something here so let's quickly do something like this okay let's curve this one down about this one um, let's move this one to this point okay and then let's trim this one so let's say this is the design we have in mind so after achieving this particular design what you have in mind click on this hash this fill tool and then press down your um spacebar button and click inside so you can see we have this now and for the color or the material click on this space and you see where this um fill type is showing this this these colors click here and select um internal filler i like going with this one because it's white actually so let's go with this one and then click on save but before you save you can see it's under wall move it to beam okay and uncheck this one make sure it's on beam and then click on save okay and click on save now close okay what we need to do now hmm. what we did is actually um this one this one is the first method actually this one is the first method so once you click if you want to achieve this now just bring it bring um open this particular space and then click click on click on um, beam under beam 
click on certain dialogues click on segment once you click on segment make sure yeah once you click on segment make sure it's normally you see it here based on default you see it here so click on this i section all right and click on custom you see that type one remember we save it as type one just scroll down you can see type one here so this is type one click on type one and then click ok so with this one i will just click at this point okay so click on this first point and then press on tap once and press the distance you want 225 okay once you click on 225 click enter and then continue all right so you're not seeing it here because this is not the same level um as the level we use this one is level from the level we, we actually drew this is on story one okay the level is story one but where this height is where you're seeing this wall is not on story one this should be probably on story two okay so click on 3d on 3d you see this particular um design just that you see it here so from here let's just lift this one up let's lift this one up to this point okay to this point and then you can now start copying them so click on this point once and um okay it will be nice if you just array this okay if you multiply this so click here once click okay let me do that again you need to see this so click on this particular design click on this little um, dot this node and then click on multiply once you click on multiply don't click any other thing else except for this okay all right so press okay and then still select the same point drag it to the front to the distance you want okay distance of your choice then click once and then keep dragging it to the front it's actually repeating itself okay click there so if you check our 3d now you can see that that particular cobels is showing all right so this is how to model it so it actually depends on the, uh, the design you have in mind okay it depends on the design you have in mind and if you don't want it to be this big you can still reduce that by not um typing two to five so this one is actually two to five that's why making this big if you um, let's click on beam again and see how big this one will look like so once we click here and take it to the front let's see 100 and uh where is it it should be on the floor okay now let's lift this one up and this should be outside the wall okay so let's rotate this Let's rotate this to this point. To this point. Nope, it's joining. <laughs> I need to take it further. Let's see to this point. Yeah, and then I'll click here and press multiply. All right, so click on OK. Pick the same point again, okay? So from here, you just give it the distance of your choice and then click once, then keep dragging it. The more you drag, the more it multiplies, okay? Then click there, take it straight, click again. So if you check very clearly, now you can see that we have two different types. This one is wider because it's 325, why this one looks smaller because it's 100, okay? All right, so we'll be stopping here today. This one is the first method, okay? This one is the first method. With this first method, you can adjust the width, okay? then let's say on our next tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to do the same thing right using the second method right so thank you so much for your time and um if you have any question do it to drop it in the comment section i'll attend to you guys see you on